Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Taisha. I am back with another video. In today's video, we're going to be doing our whole makeup or a full face of makeup using products under $10, which if you ask me is pretty amazing because that means you're going to look cute on a budget, which it's a win-win situation. So yeah, guys, that's what today's video is going to be all about. Everything I do use is going to be listed in the description box below. Also, if you guys want me to do the under $10 one, let me know in the comments below and I can always do that for you guys. But I decided just to do this video using everything under five because you can look cute, you guys. You can get everything done and actually look presentable with everything under $5, which is amazing. So yeah, guys, that's what today's video is going to be all about. Make sure you guys give me a thumbs up. If you enjoy videos like this, subscribe if you're new here and let's go ahead, grab our makeup brushes and get started. Okay, so I went ahead and zoomed the camera in so you guys can see me better. Right now I'm wearing no makeup at all. I just moisturized my skin. So we're ready to start doing our makeup. So voy a empezar by doing my eyebrows, of course. I always have to do my brows first. Um, this is what they look like right now. They aren't that bad. I feel like I'm giving myself a pretty good shape. And if you guys have been following me for a while, you've seen my freaking brow transformation it is crazy so i'm just gonna go ahead and grab a flat brush it doesn't even matter which one you use just make sure it looks something like this super flat this one's from sephora but i don't even know the number if it's just super old i actually stole it from an ex-friend so yeah that's the tea on that but i'm gonna go ahead and start drying in my brows but before i do that i just go ahead and grab my concealer today i'm using the nyx full coverage concealer this is in the shade beige and i just go ahead and pretty much outline my brow first with the concealer and this has just been making my brow game i guess a little bit better than before so i just pretty much outline where i'm gonna go ahead and do my brows and this just makes you use less product because before and even sometimes i still just do my eyebrows first and then clean it up but that's how i noticed i was getting super freaking thick brows that do not look good on me so i just pretty much do this so before we fill it in i'm just gonna grab a brush this is just from aoa studio it's one dollar i'm gonna have shop miss a linked below so you guys can check it out this is the e127 brush a lot of you guys have been wondering what brushes i use let me know if you guys would like to see a brush video i have so many video ideas i just have to sit down and do them i feel like i always say that but it's just the truth since I'm still in school, like you guys already know, I'm in college and I'm taking five classes, you guys, and that's not easy. I just really want to get college over with, so this is why I haven't been uploading as much, but I'm trying my best and hopefully you guys are liking my videos. So now I'm just going to go ahead and do my brows, actually, and I'm just going to use the Wet n Wild Ultimate Brow Micro Brow Pencil. This is like the perfect shade for me and it's in dark brown i believe and this little pencil right here is actually worth every single penny this costs so yeah so now i'm just gonna pretty much fill in all the ball spots or just where i want my brow to be this just makes it 10 times easier and see how you just use less product when you do your eyebrows like first when you conceal them first i feel like you use less product so if you're going through a stage of your brows that you're overdoing them try that out and let me know how it works for you all right guys so the eyebrows are done and we're gonna move on to the eyes i went ahead and added some of the elf eye tapes they're only two dollars super affordable and they are pretty amazing so today's eyeshadow palette i'm gonna be using this one from profusion i can barely say that oh my god this is the golden nudes palette and it is beautiful like a latina i feel like we all need golden undertone palettes like this all latinas out there you guys need this palette such a beautiful palette and it's only 488 at walmart when i saw the price i was like oh my god that is super affordable you get eyeshadows you get highlighter blush you get it all right here so we're gonna be using this palette for today's video but first i'm gonna go ahead and prime my eyes with some concealer i do have the elf one which i'm gonna be using for my face but for the eyes i'm thinking to use one of these LA Girl Pro concealers since it's the lightest concealer I have that's under $5. So I'm just going to use the shade Cool Nude. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and get started by applying the shade right here in Outgoing. I'm just going to use a fluffy brush to do so and apply it on my crease. This is 
so far blending really pretty and the actual color it's a really pretty transition shade so so far i'm liking this palette okay you guys so i thought i wanted these today i don't think i'm gonna use them for today's look i'm kind of going for like a messy bronze look so i'm just gonna take those off and i'm just gonna go ahead and blend this out more messily and then after I am done with that, I'm going to be taking the shade Tawny, which is this one right here. And I'm just going to grab it with a smaller blending brush. Okay, guys, and you already know, I'm just going to go in with that same concealer in the shade Cool Nude. And I'm just going to pretty much add just a tiny bit because I don't want a really defined cut crease, but I still want it cleaned up. And I'm just going to go ahead and just cut the crease. All right, and then after I cut the crease semi because I don't want it to like define, I'm just gonna go in with the shade in Trophy right here of the palette. And I'm just gonna take a flat brush. We're gonna make sure we wet the brush. So I'm just gonna be using my Wet n Wild spray. And we're just gonna apply this in our lid. Okay, so we are done with the eyes. I'm just going to move on to applying some mascara. Today's mascara, I'm going to use this one. This one is the Essence Volume Stylist 18 Hour Last Extension Mascara. This Essence mascaras are actually pretty good. I know a lot of people like some white packaging one. I just cannot remember the name. So if you guys have tried Essence mascara, let me know which one I should check out next. They're super affordable and they actually like do their job, which I really like. So I'm just going to go ahead and add one coat of mascara. And then for lashes today, I'm going to be using this one right here. These are the AOA Studio Premium Lashes. These are the 3D foaming lashes that I did a whole video talking about them. I'll have that listed below. I went ahead and try on every style so you guys can see before purchasing them and they're only one dollar you guys one dollar for foaming i know huh what a deal so i'm just gonna be using elidia on my eyes and then we'll be right back to finish up so i'm gonna move on to the face i'm gonna prime my face first starting with this wet n wild photo focus coconut three in one primer water this is actually pretty good you can use it to set your makeup um prime your face and even in between this just smells so good you guys i love it so much so i'm gonna move on to the second primer which is another affordable good primer this is the wet n wild photo focus matte primer stick i do not recommend you guys use this all over your face because it will make your makeup look a little bit like crack it was just not cute so i just pretty much just focused it right here on my nose and also a little bit right here in my forehead but just a little bit because again i do notice it kind of makes my makeup look a little bit weird if i apply a lot of this product i found this really good foundation i know a lot of people love this one i have tried it in the past but i never given it like a fair chance so this is the wet and wild photo focus foundation in the shade golden beige and desert beige i did not know which color i was so i went ahead and picked them both out i got them from walgreens but i know they're pretty much everywhere now and at walgreens they were having a sale and they were only two dollars so that's pretty affordable but regular price i believe they're like 450 or something like that so i'm gonna use some of the golden beige tone one and i'm just gonna apply some right here you see i think this is gonna be too light and then just to darken it up just a tiny bit i'm just gonna be taking desert beige and yeah this is way too freaking dark for me i don't know what i'm thinking so i'm just gonna blend this one out it has like a light coverage maybe a medium coverage but it is a really pretty foundation it's blending out really nice all right so the foundation is actually looking super pretty i can kind of feel it in my skin i'm not used to such a not matte foundation but it still looks really nice and healthy so we're gonna move on to applying some concealer i'm gonna be using the elf one i went ahead and picked another shade up this is the elf 16 hour wear camo concealer in the shade medium beige something i do have to say about this concealer is that the shade range actually i don't think it's that good at all i feel like it has weird undertones so i feel like elf should really fix that but the other one i tried if you guys remember what's kind of weird so hopefully from all the money from all the people they've been that been buying this concealer they'll use that money to make better shades because it's 
actually a really pretty concealer. Okay, babe, so for powder today, I'm gonna be using this one right here. I went ahead and accidentally took this apart. I'll go ahead and fix it later. This is the CYO powder in the shade Clear. I have never tried this brand before, but I have heard good things about it. I don't know about the powder though, but I know the foundation, I have heard it's good. So this powder was less than $5, which was pretty surprising. I didn't know I could do this video until I saw this powder because the Wet n Wild setting powder right here, that one is $6, I believe. And this one is less than $5. And right now, I mean, it's going on pretty good. So for being less than $5, it's amazing. Remember the times, if you would have done this a video a couple of years ago, you probably just would have done Wet n Wild. Like Wet n Wild was the only brand that you could get good makeup for under five. And now seeing other brands and Wet n Wild even evolve is pretty amazing to see that. For the rest of my face, I'm gonna be using this one by LA Girl. This is the Pro Face H HD. I was gonna say H. HD High Definition Matte Pressed Powder. This is in the shade Nude Beige. I might be cheating just a little bit. Right now, this is on sale on the Ulta website for $5.94. So I'm pretty much just going in a couple of cents. This is a really nice powder though. It makes like your skin look really blur and it gives you a little bit of coverage. It's not like the MAC one, but it is still a really good powder to set your foundation with. So I'm just gonna use this. On the other areas of my face you guys know i love the full coverage feet okay so we're gonna go in with some bronzer so it is bronzer time now i'm gonna be taking an angle brush like this one i've been liking doing my bronzer with an angle brush and i'm using the wet n wild color icon bronzer in what shady beaches i love that name and i'm just gonna use this to pretty much bronze up my skin I don't think this is a good actual contouring shade, but just to bring some more warmness to your skin, this is a really nice bronzer, and you literally need such a tiny bit amount. If not, if you go in like this, girl, you're gonna look like really orange. So I suggest you tap in once and you bronze up your skin. And then of course, we cannot forget our double chin. If I could, you guys, I would honestly get filler right here just to get rid of this. It's honestly one of my, like, insecurities. I hate it. I wish I just had it, like, really, like, sunk in right here. So hopefully in the future I can get that done. But for now, bronzer, a good angle brush, and contour the shit out of our skin. <laughs> All right, guys, so this is the look I created using makeup under $5, and I'm freaking obsessed with this look. My skin looks so pretty and flawless, and the highlighter, the eyes are, like, glistening, the lashes are popping, lip gloss, just everything is just how I like it. So I really recommend all the products I did use. When it comes to the foundation, I don't know how it wears in my oily skin, but right now, it does look really pretty. So, yeah, guys, so this video goes to prove that if you're in a budget, you can still look really cute just have to know which items to buy or not and all the items i picked up today i really do like so if you guys are wondering everything that i do use is going to be listed in the description box below also please in the comments below comment your favorite makeup on your five dollars help a girl out and help everybody else out i feel like now i'm going to be looking at the prices of everything and being like this is under five this is under five and keep trying to build my collection like that i'm going to go ahead you guys and let you all go thank you so much for taking time of your day to watch this video i really appreciate it and that's all I will see you guys on the next one. Bye guys.